Cease fire now. Cease fire now! Cease fire now. You were listening to us. Did you put on the phone today? Yes. Good job. I did with Mendel again, yeah. With Mendel? Yeah. Kora Kavod. Nice. All the best. Have a great day. Very good. Okay. Bye bye. Get to talk. Zagazin. Ceasefire now. To release the hostages, we need a ceasefire. That's it. Sorry? Ceasefire, and then the hostages will be released. You're right. We stop the war, and then you know people can live. Yeah. That's it. That's all. It's very simple. Yeah. Do you stay for the day? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, three God. hours. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Yeah. It's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, necessary. Oh, another compliment. Ceasefire now. Seat fire now. The little beast is active. So here we go, change direction. Okay, so here's a view of me with my pious salt. Hmm? Cease fire now. Shalom Akshav.
With the ceasefire, the hostages would be released. Simple solution. Ceasefire now. Oh, sir, how are you? Not too bad. Hi, good to see Hi. you again. Nice to meet you again, my friend. Yes. So the news, it's not making people happy, huh? So I changed the slogan, so I say today to everybody, ceasefire now, shalom achshav, which Hebrew is peace now. Yeah. Mm. So, and then they say, then the ones who come to demonstrate, you know, for the release of the hostages say, you know, with a ceasefire, the hostages would be released, you know? Yes, normally, yes, it's automatically, yes, Automatically, like that. that's, you know... Ceasefire, and uh, people who are uh, uh, hostages, they can be released. Yeah. But they, it, I know, it's, it's difficult for, the, for them to sort of, you know, understand such a simple thing. I think, I don't know why, there are some hands behind, some hands who are making things, uh, you know, it's like the marionette, you know, sometimes, it's, yeah, I know, yeah, that, people, that, that started a long time Jews, ago with the Hebrew yeah. schools, you know, in Israel. No, but over there in Israel, Jews, they won't live in peace. They want peace over there. How, how ah, can they that's imagine? the problem. 68% want more war. I don't think so because people uh, imagine. But yeah. The real feeling, that's yeah, another the real matter. Feeling, what they people, say they and what. Fed up. Fed yeah. up with war, with terrorism, with violence. They want peace. Go outside. Uh, go for wandering free. Yeah. And then that new hotels and that war will bring them peace. Yeah. <laughs> And the very important thing is to share land. Yeah. To live, coexist together yeah. in peace and love, make commerce, make trade, trading between. It's, I remember my the king of my country, Morocco, King ah. Hassan II, yes. in, the, in the 80s, 18s, yes. 80s, he said, just begin making trade, just making trade, ah. commerce, yeah, well, help. After commerce, it's going to be a relationship. Then you can discuss all the typical things. Yeah, well. But some people of the East, Eastern countries, they were they were very angry why he said that. Uh -huh. Because they don't, don't understand they politics. don't believe it. Politics, it's very, it didn't, very... It didn't work. It yeah. didn't work, his strategy. But Morocco's king protected the Jewish people under Nazi occupation. Yes, I know. When Vichy... He asked for all the Jews of Morocco to be to be transferred to. He said, "I don't have Jews here. I have Moroccans. All the people here are Moroccans, yeah. whether they are Jews, nice Muslims, it, yeah. or Christians. Yeah. That's why Moroccan people here." Let's see if that's my son. Maybe calling me. Okay. Last time it was a Russian-speaking person who I understood nothing. It's the same. Yeah. Hello, who is this? Hello? No. Just uh, a Russian who wants to harass me. Yes, people ignorance, you know? They are ignorant people, they don't know the truth, they don't know 